Hey guys, it's Haps. And in today's video, we're gonna jump right back into the weekly pack where I'm actually gonna put into practice a pretty old strategy, but arguably the most simplest, and that is just to pile as many stats as I can into tier one pets. Now, when I first sit down for the weekly each week, I look at the early game combos and there is normally one or two that I enjoy to play. And this week, that is the Groundhog and the Pie Tamarind. And in this run, they're the ones that carry us all the way to the end. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you do, maybe like and subscribe. But with all of that said, let's jump in. This is just a weird team. We're almost pretty much throwing, although we've come up against the, the best squad. <laughs> that was the best squad for us. We've got two... No, in fact, we've got three Pi Tamarin at the back doing absolutely nothing. Um, if we find the Groundhog, then these will start to pop. But unless we do, unless we find that, these are kind of useless. Cappy's kind of nice. Yeah, let's do Cappy. Let's bring you in and roll. Oh, we get the Groundhog. That's so good. That is so good. Let's combine, bring you in and do this. We'll hold you. And I mean, again, you're going to do nothing for us, but we'll run it like this. We're actually, what, one away from Pi Tamarind 3, which is pretty good. Maybe we just try and run this combo all the way to the end. Like, maybe we can run Pi Tamarind all the way to the end. Means we're going to have to keep the Groundhog, though, so... Okay, we're going to bring you in and roll. Groundhog, I mean, for now, sure. We'll do this. Roll it. There's the level up for next turn. There's another level up for next turn. There's the level three. Okay, we've literally got everything that we want. Uh, I think we just keep this order. So we've got the level three Pied Tamarind. We're going to have a level two Groundhog, which is also going to be pretty nice. Okay, good hits. These are, are so scary, although that's so good. <laughs> Taking them down there. I don't actually know if we've got enough. No, we don't. We lose to the summon. Um... Yeah, the, the Chupacabras are pretty damn scary this weekly. So let's level here. Blowfish is not bad. I will bring I will bring it in. Yeah, I will bring it in. I'm going to take the level up here as well. I mean, we have bison. We have bison. Like, we could sell... We'll hold it. Because we've got the level 3. we got the Pied Tamarin. I reckon we bring in bison. We got this for the level up next turn as well. Let's roll. And then we'll send it like this. I think we try and run these two together all the way through. We'll bring Bison in for, for some extra stats. And then maybe we can pick up some way of scaling. Um, okay, it's going to have to be something big here. I'll oh, get the draw. That's fine. The snipes help us out. I'm going to take the level up. And then I'm going to... Do I want to sell into these? I mean, we could do, because you're going to give us two trumpets. You actually use two trumpets. Okay, we need three from you. Um, if I sell this, what is it going to sell on to? We'll sell the blowfish. We'll bring in the bison. And oh, I really want to sell this. Um, we'll roll one. We can... I mean, we can sell this. I'm going to bring this in here. And we can sell you and bring you in here. And we're running double pie tamarind. Double pie tamarind. We're going to scale this one using the manatee. I mean, can we get two level threes? That is the question. Okay, you faint. Big hits to the back. You get melon, which is not good for us. But we do get some extra strikes. And it's another draw. We are just hanging on. Hanging on. Okay, manatee level up is on the cards. Let's roll it. We get it is huge and that's big as well i think we're gonna get rid of this pie tamarin we're just gonna run you and then okay so we've got scaling through the bison we've got scaling through the siberian husky we've got scaling through the manatee like these two at the front should start getting big okay bison unfortunately we don't survive that we take down the chupacabra which is nice and we get a win okay we got a chance here we do have a chance i think i mean ideally we're going to try and keep a manatee just to boost the stats in here um, so if we can find one, I don't think, I mean, I don't want to take, because we got the Siberian Husky, we can't really put any, uh, any perks on. We'll grab another Bison, roll, that's huge, we're going to take it straight away. Don't need that, and there's another one as well. Um, we'll, I mean, we've got to continue running it in this order. Maybe we move the Husky to the back here. Okay, Bison scaling pretty quickly. Pied Tamarin also pretty big here. We've got Sniping through you, I mean, you're providing Trumpets. 
triple bison. I mean, we to be fair, we found triple bison. We've just got it all in one. And that takes us to four. Okay, we're so we're four for four. I guess we just keep pushing bison here. Um, on to you to get the extra stats. We could add this here, here, or here. Uh, I mean, we could roll and look for more Siberian Huskies. I think that's probably better. We don't find it. Because we could we could potentially find another bison there. We could find another manatee there. Um, we could find more Siberian Huskies. The groundhog doesn't need to go any higher. We don't really need the groundhog any higher. I mean, Pie Tamarin doesn't do a huge amount. It would be good to get the pineapple on it. Um, but I don't want to do that just yet. Like, we want to do this very much towards the end. I don't know if we've actually got the Groundhog level 3 win. In fact, let's have a quick check. Do we have it? No, we don't. We don't even have... We're going to bring you in. We're going to bring you in. We're going to do it. Roll. Wow, the game knows. The game knows what we're looking for. Okay, we could do with some more Siberian Huskies. I mean, I tried. I tried. Maybe the game helps us out there. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, we're going to need to add some stats to our manatee. Otherwise, we're going to lose it next turn. Okay. I mean, we're pretty big here with the Pied Tamarin. In fact, we're very big with the Pied Tamarin. That takes us to six. There's another bison. Okay, so I'm going to do this before I forget. We're going to take bison and we're going to take you. And I'm just going to stick with the Siberian Husky. We just got, I mean, I didn't need to. Um, I'm going to stick with the Siberian Husky. Okay, we're up to 2232. That adds, okay, so, but we're going to be adding this. So we're going to give it some extra health next turn anyway. So, Manatee's still good. Okay, surviving there, taking you down. Snipes come in. I'm not liking the look of the Phoenix in the back. That could be kind of scary. With the Crisp, the Crisp's going to come in. But we're actually going to just about win it with the dog. <laughs> the Groundhog actually saves the day there. Okay, that's kind of crazy. We'll bring you in, get the extra stats here. Roll it. Now, we're getting to the point where the Siberian Husky actually doesn't add too much value, right? So, I think, I think I'm going to hold... I think I'm tempted to hold a Pepper. I'm tempted to hold a Pepper. Let's just keep rolling. We'll keep rolling for now. Um, we could take this because it could literally be anything. Uh, we'll grab you just for the extra stats. And then we'll roll one more. Okay. We'll send it like this. I mean, Turtle, actually not the worst idea to come in and replace uh, the Siberian Husky. Or, I mean, Scorpion as well, right? But we got a few more turns. We just want to get as many stats as possible. The Manatee is just going to be around for now. I mean, if we'd have got Pitta bred for the Manatee, that would have been nice. Okay. Surviving that hits big. Snipes come in. Manatee does some work for us. Crisp comes in, but we've got the stats. Um, right, we're going to get this leveled up. And now where do we go from here? So, I mean, I, I could... I'm just going to stick with what we're running. I'm just going to stick with this. Like, we could move this forward and start spitting the stats, but I think we just keep pushing. We're not going to get any more Siberian Huskies. It might be worth just pivoting away from you eventually. Um, I don't think bringing in either of these makes any sense. Like, we could bring in the Cockatoo. It's a 2-2. But the Siberian Husky is essentially giving us um, a 4-4 across the board. We could do some Peaches or Immortality. Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's add, let's add them to you. Roll it. We'll buy this for sure. And it gives us pizza. We'll take pizza. I knew it was going to go on the Siberian Husky at the back. I knew it was going to go there. But that's fine. We've got a few more, we've got a few more rounds. Uh, we basically got two big units. Um, and ideally, we were going to need to try and take down... Okay, that's good that we clear you. You come down and we get it done. Okay, that's eight. Two more needed. Two more needed. I don't think... I mean, we don't need to take Bison any higher. We just don't need to take Bison any higher. Um, but I will anyway, just to, get, just to get the level three and see what we get. I'm going to hold the Grizzly Bear. I'm going to hold the Grizzly and we're going to bring it in next turn for the Siberian. And I'm also going to hold the Mushroom because we're going to bring that in next turn as well. So we're going to run... Give one pet plus three to their lowest stat. 
Um, sure. Let's add. Let's add that to you. We'll roll it, roll it, and then roll it again. And so next turn, we're gonna sell the Siberian Husky. Um, and we're going to bring in the Grizzly Bear at the back. We're gonna bring in Mushroom on Grizzly. And then I'm hoping that'll be enough for us. Okay, don't like the Frost. Especially the fact that they got the Manticore, so the Frost is gonna do a lot of damage. But that takes us to nine. We're one away. We're one away. Uh, we're gonna sell you. We're gonna bring in Grizzly. We're gonna add this. Now we need to try and get an extra two stats on here. So there's one. And honestly, we can add this to you just to keep you alive. Just to keep you alive, we'll hold these two. And we'll send it... I mean, we can add this next turn as well if we end up going there. We've got four hearts. We've got room to play. I'm trying to get the Pi Tamarin up to 50-50. But we may get it done now. It all depends. Okay, Melon across the board for them. Snipes come in. We do take down the Blowfish. We have a lot of stats. And we get it done. We get it done. We get the Pied Tamarin and the Groundhog at level 3. I don't even know if I got the Manatee level 3. I must have got Manatee level 3. Yeah, we've got Manatee level 3 before, but the Pied Tamarin and Groundhog combo straight from the start. We take it all of the way. I mean, to be honest, I'm a little surprised we got this over the line. It definitely helped having the Bison. And of course, we kept the trusty mushroom at the back just in case, which we did get the 1-1, one, one, but we still had 2 HP on the bison. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.